time we dated, I broke up with him like every single month for nine months, right? <laughs> yeah. And it was not because of him. It was like I felt so unworthy every time I grew yeah. closer to crisis, all my shame. And I remember I didn't, I didn't surrender at all. Yeah. Right, I surrendered a little bit, and in the process of us dating, I was still getting out of my old life. Remember, I'm used to these guys being in my yeah. life, and so as we're dating, there's a time where I end up being pregnant. Yeah. So I get pregnant, not with him, not of course, but wow. not by him. Yeah. But as we're dating, I'm le- living the secret life, and I'm trying to get rid of it. But it was wow. my safety, yeah. and when I show, I end up pregnant. I was like, okay. It was like the Lord was letting me know, like, when are you going to stop messing around? Yeah. When are you going to take this serious? Yeah. And I end up pregnant, and I remember that moment, man, I can't, I don't know what to do. And I can't tell nobody. So then I end up getting an abortion by myself. Listen, listen. Before we even deep dive into this, because when they sent me this one, I was like, all right, y'all got me on this one. I didn't seen a lot of things. I didn't react to a lot of videos. I didn't gave my insight on a lot of things. But y'all really outdid yourself on this one. Before we get into this, Can we just tell our stories and stop inserting God into it like he got a part of it? You went out here, you busted down for a real one. You had a real one on your team, but you continued to spin him in order to go out here and have sex unprotected and then get impregnant by dudes that didn't care nothing about you. And then you keep trying to act like God was just taking you through this in order for him to let you know that, hey, you ready to get your life together? And then you went out here and got an abortion. Come on, man, stop. This is y'all by yourself. This ain't got nothing to do with God. This ain't got nothing to do with righteousness. Can you be forgiven and, you know what I'm saying, get saved and all of that? Can you repent? Can you ask for forgiveness? Absolutely. Nobody is trying to prevent you from being able to live a life uh, as best as you can, as far as making sure that you, you know, leave goodness on this earth. The most horrible. But y'all got to stop acting like this is God. This ain't got nothing to do with. And this is one of the reasons why people start to turn away from the church or Christianity, because it's almost like a license to do anything because you still going to be able to go to heaven. Now, you still got to be accountable for everything you do on this earth and stop acting like he got a part in it. It's not. That ain't got nothing to do with him. Like mm. visit I've ever done because I literally they'll show me like hey do you want to see this I'm like no I don't want to see oh anything I don't want to yeah. do anything and that was that moment where I was like how did I get here mm. like I, I have this beautiful wonderful man of God and I show up I am pregnant and I have this abortion this I'm doing all this in secret and then I'm like it was so heavy that I had to tell him. I'm like, I had to tell him. And when I tell him this last time, he's going to break up with me. And it's going to be done. So I was... How do you get pregnant while you with a dude that's supposed to be the good dude? And my father warned me of this. Like, first of all, never let an innocent face fool you because these chicks is for everybody. They for the streets. That's number one. If you didn't get it out the mud with her... If you didn't catch her when she was, you know what I'm saying, a virgin and, and when y'all was younger and built it together, they all for every, they for everybody. All right? That's number one. Number two, my father told me that nice guys finish last. I'm so thankful that I had a strong father in my life. Nice guys always finish last and they always pick up the scraps. And then they're always celebrated by people and women that was in these streets that's then looking for a savior and now they're looking for a simp. They looking for a simp. So you was with a dude that was a good dude, wasn't rocking with him, but now you rocking with him when it's convenient for you because he going to pick up the slack and, you know what I'm saying, forgive you from doing the stuff that you wasn't supposed to be doing in the first place as to the reason why you shouldn't have been in these streets. And you gonna tell, And the only reason that they feel comfortable telling him is because they know that he's going to simp out. They know you were not going nowhere. They know, listen, no matter what they tell you on these podcasts, no matter what microphone they give you, they know you're not going anywhere at all. Self-sabotaging. Yeah. Because it was so good. Like this life that God is promising me, I don't deserve it. You don't know what I've done. Like in my mind, I'm like, God, you don't know what I've done. You don't know who I am. You know, he's like, I know. Right. But he never made me feel the shame. So when I show up and I tell him. And I was like, this is it. He's, he's never want to be with me again. And we actually bro- we broke up um, for this last time. And at that time, for one month, 
I was like, that was my full surrender. Mm-hmm. Like after that moment, I broke with it. I'm like, this is my chance to start over again. Yeah. I was serving the Lord, but I remember not thinking you were getting back no, with him. No, yeah, it was yeah. like, okay, this is it. This is I've been. I broke up with. I broke his heart like eight times. Yeah, come yeah. on now. And then this is the last time. <laughs> I'm like, there's no <clears throat> way he wants me back yeah. ever. Yeah. And so now I'm like one month just really just being with the Lord for the first time. And I'm my Lord, even if you don't bring him back, I'm good. Like, I just want to be yours. Whatever that you want me to do, I am, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. And that was my full surrenders after that moment. And then, the, of course, the Lord, we had a watch night party. I don't know. It was like a New Year's watch night party. <laughs> and so we had a we had a meeting. This is after the abortion, right? And I want to know who the, guy, who the guys was that was busting it down. And one of the guys was like, hey, we want to have a performance. You should uh, contact your fuego friend. <laughs> your fuego friend. And I was like, oh. and remember, and when we're dating, I'm keeping him in secret. I'm always used in secret. No one knew yeah, that we're yeah, dating. He yeah, was so yeah. proud of us. He, he posted a picture. I'm going to take that picture down. Yeah. yeah. I don't want nobody to know, right? Mm. And so, so yeah. I'm living in secret. Stamps. So when they didn't even know we were dating, he's like, oh, that fuego guy. And I was like, no, I think men should contact men. I don't want to be the one to talk to him, right? Mm. And so, of course, they contact him. He comes. So I know that he's coming. Yeah. I know that he's coming, and I'm like, oh, man, okay, he's going to be coming. He shows up with the shoes I bought him before, right? Number one, and I'm just like, oh, why yeah. are you wearing the shoes on. I brought yeah, you? I he knew what you were doing. doing. Yeah, he knew. I was just like. You like my shoes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk. We didn't talk. And I remember he was coming up, and I was like, the Lord was like, you need to, you need, you need to repent to him, mm, yeah, to yeah. me, but then now you need to ask him for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. And then so we talk, and then that you, moment, but you, and I'm, you I'm letting him streets. know again. Like, yeah. he knows what ha- happened. And he Never. said, well, did you ask God for forgiveness? I'm like, I did. He's like, did you forgive yourself? I'm like, I don't know, right? And then he's like, well, I love you, and I still want you to be my wife. Listen, bro, listen. I, God ain't in it. You're not going to sit here and convince me of it. That's not what God is. God is not the author of confusion, and he does not put you in a position where you got to suffer as a result of the decisions that some other chick that's for the streets making. I'm not going for it. I think that this is absolutely nonsense, 1,000%. And what type of dudes is out here? Y'all must ain't got no kind of strong father figures or male figures in y'all life. To be sitting here, picking up the pieces, and then immediately, immediately talking to which like, are y'all that smitten? Is it really? I, I would, I would venture to say, and I'm going out on a limb here, that the dude, the good man, that wound up saving her from herself, probably never even touched it prior to. Oh man. So everybody was smutting it out and doing her dirty and and making sure that they that she took the whole thing and all of that and no protection, no none of that. And so all you got to do is to go back and confess and it's ask for forgiveness. And the next thing you know, he's supposed to wipe you. The simping out here is on another level. And now every day y'all remind me of why. You remind me of why these women feel compelled and they feel comfortable continuing to say, well, I can have a whole phase and then I can come back and ask for forgiveness and then I can raise my standards beyond the standards that I have for the dudes that was busting it down. Now, how about this? Y'all just start wearing black dresses to y'all wedding instead of white dresses because it ain't nothing white about it. I'm just I'm just disgusted. Absolutely. And this is supposed to be... <laughs> Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, Also, uh, make sure that you guys leave a comment. I can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about this one. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm never going to stop holding y'all accountable. I'm out, man. This is insane.